What is up, YouTube? Skiz1 here. If you're seeing this, that means enough people on uh, part one let me know that they wanted to see a part two of this series. So basically, what we're going to do here is we're just going to walk the line a little bit. We got a lot of great train cars here. As I was saying in part one, it can be really beneficial to you to just look at some other people's uh, work that's being done in your community, just to see the level of skill in your community, see the hard work people are putting in, because for me, seeing the dedication that a lot of writers show is what inspires me the most to just keep doing what I'm doing. So yeah, we got great line here behind me. We're going to take a look at some of it, give uh, hopefully a few shout outs to some people everyone recognizes, maybe some people on the channel actually. That would be super cool. So let's get started. We've always got someone uh, rocking a simple style like this. And you know what? Those simple styles never go out of style. If you can make a clean piece like that, it's super nice. But I do want to get in here and look at a few of these little tiny throws people have uh, put up, throws and tags. We got blur. Bosses, Cater, nice. Of course we got some way up there. And of course, we, again, Robin number 705, who's mad at me because their nest is somewhere in here. So if I get attacked by Robins, don't be surprised. Oh. Of course, I'm walking through spider webs here too. Um, so be glad you guys get to watch this from behind the screen. And, uh, because that might be better than in person at this point. So this line is very close quarters here, so I'm going to try and show you what I can. It might be in little snippets, sort of. Of course, the sun is making some uh, wicked hard shadows on these uh, box cars here. Really doing my best to give you guys a little bit of a view here, at least. We're doing our best. And you know what? A lot of looking at pieces sometimes, uh, the parts that are helpful are looking at the details anyway. So the devil's in the details, of course, always. So if something's clean, it's clean in the details as well. This one's done by Bush or more specifically, Bush Girl. Always good to see some female names in the uh, graffiti community because it's always been dominated by very heavy male presence, but it's good to encourage um, some females as well to get involved with this kind of art because it's, it's a worthwhile thing to be involved with as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so this is cool, by the way. See if this helps. There you go. Little throwies on the tankers too. This was the guy I was talking about last episode. He's on every tanker in the world, I swear. But he's he's got a millions of those out, and I think that deserves a lot of respect. I like a little dude here. He's cool. Good use of a strong fill-in color here. This was something I was saying last episode too. Very strong fill-in color, um, which acts, uh, it really propels the piece away from the background of the train, makes it stand out quite nicely. And as he says, only dead fish go with the flow. Like our dude there also. Here's one of the pieces where it's interesting to look at the details. Um, they've done some very interesting work in the fill-in here with some uh, geometric stuff. And it's unfortunate we can't see this from a better angle, but you can tell they did a lot of cool work on it. And that kind of stuff takes a bit of creativity, so always good to see, definitely.
This one's a post piece. Um, I have seen him up quite a bit, actually. So, uh, big up to him. Rest in peace, Rasper. Get a better view of that one for you. So here we've got something pretty special actually. Um, I mean, you can see it by just by the detail. But I mean, look at that. They're, they're pretty big. I like the O specifically, like the, the uh, boxy parts they added. That's super unique. I swear every three seconds a random robin just flies and all you hear is just a flutter of wings and it's scaring the crap out of me because I think they're flying at my face. Credit in the house. Let me just step in. Nice background colors here, I like that. Also, we got an Avis here. That's pretty dope. Comment if you guys know him, cause I, well, I mean, I don't know know him, but I've heard of him. That's something a little unique. <laughs> we got bezel, we got roll. I wonder what they're using here, because this stuff is old. If that's 2013 and it's on there, it's a little bit raised up, like 3D-ish. Let you guys see up there, I can't get up there. I'm not climbing. Really liking the color combo on this. Almost reminds me of like a donut, like one of those cartoonish donuts, you know? Keys. And honestly, these letters are brilliant. That's quite well done. Quite well done, to be honest. So we got some more beef here, that's uh, as I mentioned last episode, in my opinion, beefing with other writers just does not help the community at all, so I think we should sort of try and not do that, it's not really fun. But that's what I think of it. Cool little almost throwy style there. If I were this guy, would have I would have continued the green up here a little bit, uh, just to emphasize background a little bit more. But it looks super dope. Loving that one. Got a U cub piece here. Big and simple, nice. All 
All right, so that's the end of the line here, but um, sorry the shots were a little worse in this episode, but nevertheless, let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Let me.